Hi guys, welcome back to Exam Debug. Uh, I'm Chris McKenna and we're going to be continuing with our Python 3 tutorial today. So I'd say for this one you really need to know what you're doing with lists first of all. So if you haven't watched it already, please go back and watch the video on lists before you have a look at for loops one. Uh, but we're going to be having a look at for loops and for loops um, are kind of the competitor of the while loop. Um, but they, they have different jobs um, in some ways. So what we've got at the moment for the program we made in the, in the lists uh, video was we were making a list and an item variable and while the user hadn't said end, it was going to add whatever items they typed onto our list. And then at the end, we had to remove the end, which had been added as well. Um, we can also, we were also then printing out their shopping list at the end. Now there is a major problem with this program, and the major problem is it will crash, and that's never a good thing. So what do you want to buy today? If I just said end right away, it will crash, and the reason it's trying to crash is because it's saying print list item 1 and there is no list item 1. Even if I only put two items on the list, it's still going to crash because it's going to try and print item 3. So be careful with that. Um, we can't, this is not a very functional way. A much nicer way to do it would be to use a for loop. So let's, let's keep that variable. Mm -hmm. And what we can do, and um, for loops work really well with lists. If you're using lists, for loops are fantastic. So we can say for, uh, let's say my item, just to make it different from this item here, it's not the same thing. Kind of is, but not really. Uh, for item in, and then we will have the name of our list. So shop list. And we're going to put stuff inside, so we need to finish with our colon here. Now this one is the tricky part here. So this is our list. Each time we go through the loop, the items on the list will become, will be assigned to the variable my item. So let's see how that works. So what we can do in here is we can just say print and we can print my item. So what that will do is the first time it goes through, it's going to take the first item in the list. Second time it will go through, it will take the second item in the list and give it to this variable. It will only do that, if we say in shop list, it will only do that for the number of items inside of the shop list. So we don't need to worry. If we have zero items, it will work. If we have 50 items, it will work. So let's give it a go and see. So what do you want to buy today? Apples, pears, stuff. And we need to end. almost forgot. We need to end. And then it will print everything that is in that list one by one. So for loops are very, very useful in that regard. However, we can also use them. Um, we can also use them for just with numbers as well. And one of the great things that we have in Python is a range. And it means the numbers from something until something else. So we're going to do the exact same thing that we just did, but we're going to do it in a, in a slightly different way. So we're going to say for, uh, let's just say number, again, it can be any name, it's just a, it's a variable, in, and instead of giving it a list, this time I'm going to give it a range. So I'm going to say in the range, okay, and you can see here it gives me start, stop, step. So start, um, means it's going to the number we want to start from, so let's start from zero, and we're going to stop when we get to um, 
the number in the list. So for now, I'm just going to put in a number um, that we can. I'm going to show you something later that's going to make this make more sense. So it's going to go from zero to three. You can also additionally, this is optional. You can optionally add in how many you want to jump each time. If you wanted to go two each time rather than one each time, you could do that. But I'm just going to say in that range. And again, colon, print item. Now, I'm in exactly the same problem here. If I don't put enough items in, on my list, oops, sorry, not print my item, sorry, print shop list, and I want it to be number. So that's the same as we did before with uh, shop list. Like uh, zero, so plus one. What it's going to do is the first time the number will be zero, one, two, and so we'll get each item on the list that way rather than getting the items from the shop list. So this is obviously nicer, but just so you can see what's going on. So, but we're going to end up with the same problem in that we need to have the right number. Oops, what did I do? Oops, I opened the documentation, sorry. We need to have the right number of items or we're going to get an error. But let's say we had apple, pear, and stuff again. And so the first time, apple, pear, stuff. And the second time, apple, pear, stuff. But the problem is if we had a number that wasn't, uh, you know, if we only had two items, it would crash, we'd get an error. So what we can do is we can change this to be the length of our list. And to do that, we say len brackets and the name of our list, shop. Okay, and that should return the length of our shop list. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, if that works. So we want to buy apples, oops, what did I do? Wrong button. Apples, pears, uh, stuff, and more stuff. Oh, I need to add. I keep forgetting that. N. Okay, and so it's going to print apples, pears, stuff, more stuff. The second one's going to print apples, pears, stuff, and more stuff. So really, I mean, this is the nice one. This is the best way you could do it here. Nice and clean. But what's happening inside of this is really more like this. It's just that Python is super friendly and nice for us. Okay, but you can do it just with the lists and you can do it this way. If you were, say, having to work with numbers rather than a list, you can, you can do it in a much, you can do it with your for loop like this here. Um, so, I mean, I guess the, the question a lot of people ask is when do we use a for loop? When do we use a while loop? There is not one that's better than the other. For, for me, if I'm working with a sort of set number of items or if I'm working with a list, I will use a for loop. If it's just a general repeat, a sort of more like for until something happens, until this, then I would probably use a while loop. Okay. Um, I hope that helps. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe and if you have any questions, post them below.